Hello everyone, Pally Time here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft. It's been quite a long time since we have ventured into Azeroth here on this channel, but there's a new temporary game mode in WoW that I have absolutely been loving. I am talking about Plunderstorm. It's Blizzard's take on a battle royale. You get incentivized to level up through a Renown Pass in order to get some really cool customizations like the armor I'm wearing right now, the mount that I am using, and are you ready for my UI jump scare? The title that my character has as well. Very cool limited time stuff. As of right now, there's only about a week left in Plunderstorm, so if this looks cool, make sure you check it out. Now, I cannot play it on this character. Plunderstorm is a completely separate game mode that can be found on your character screen up here at the top left side. You can customize your character to look however you want, either Horde or Alliance side, but this is not a permanent character on your account. This is essentially a temporary character for one round of PvP. 60 players total are gonna be fighting for superiority on a map that is constantly shrinking in size. And quite a lot of the WoW combat formula has changed here. Instead of clicking on an enemy and tab targeting to another and then doing damage from my hotbar, instead everything is action combat. Instead of auto attacking, I'm spamming R and it's cycling through a combo of abilities. And this hits a decently sized area in front of my character. So I have to constantly spin my camera around to make sure that the enemy I'm fighting is in front of me. On top of that, there are chests that you can find all over the battlefield, supply chests like this one, but even higher rarity chests like the ones back here that will give you unique abilities in two different categories. You have basically attacking skills and utility skills here on your hotbar. I got a mixture of both. This is Slicing Winds, and you may have noticed that's a purple ability. It's an epic level upgrade. If you find duplicates of abilities, you get even better qualities of them. With this, I can dash forward and jump on top of enemies, dealing damage on the way in and then sitting me up to melee, but this is only one piece of a puzzle that evolves and changes in every single match. But in today's match, we set out to do something unique. So basically the community came together and drew a map of good drop locations. Red is great XP, lots of plunder, but also high enemy density. Very likely to see other players dropping in this same spot. Green is a pretty good XP grind and less likely to be contested sure you can see where this is going but way over on the right hand side there's an orange x that orange x is there because it has the worst mob density on the map dropping in an area with high density can be very important and give you a strong lead early on in the game because every enemy we kill is going to give us XP towards the next level. It's going to drop plunder on the ground, which also gives us XP. And as we take down elites, we also gain new abilities. So dropping somewhere that gives you access to all of these things is really useful. Dropping here is basically setting yourself up for failure. There's simply not enough mob density in this spot to gather enough plunder to be competitive with those guys that are landing over on the Western Front. At least that's what we've been told. In today's video, we got the dreaded X drop and we tried to make the very best of it. I do sincerely hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If we can hit a thousand likes, that would be incredible. Thank you so much for supporting the content. Hey, look, we fucking spawned at the X. Let's see firsthand why this place sucks, shall we? Let's take a look at it together. We literally started at the worst possible spot, according to the community. So, first thing I'm noticing, it's very spread out. Not a lot of enemies here. Compare this to the orc stronghold that I've landed in the last couple of times where like you literally can turn any direction and there's enemies. There was four here at this spawn. So one other person landed here, which means that these elites 
if he did start an elite, I think he did, are already dead. Early game, it's best not really to fight other players. But I know this place is sparse, and I'm going to need to pressure this guy out of here. I do have some pretty okay abilities to fight. My stun on three is a skill shot, but if I can land it, that sets me up great for this fire whirl, which allows me to deal damage in a wide area around me. My auto attacks are, yeah, okay. If he wants to barrel away, that's totally fine. So we scared him off, so he's barreling away. Let's see how much XP we can still get. Every player gets a barrel. Every player gets an escape from an early game fight. And generally speaking, it's not going to be worth my time to chase after him. I need to make sure that I'm collecting as much XP as possible. There's just nothing to kill. But well, this guy already barreled. So the fact that he even walks towards us is flabbergasting. Unless this is a different guy. Oh, he's also backpedaling. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. And as you can see, when he died, he dropped a portion of his plunder, as well as all of the abilities he had equipped at the time. This is a big gain for us. So killing a guy and looting everything almost, we hit level four. So we did finish our plunder quest. So, I mean, that didn't take that long. We have a pretty good set of abilities right now too. This mana thing can be charged up to deal a lot of damage. This thing that just drops on the ground is some weird goblin anti-gravity jump pad. I wasn't really planning on picking it up until I saw these two fighting nearby. I have a plan. This guy just used a bunch of abilities, right? And we have liftoff. We're gonna have to jump over those mines, but they're grouped up and this is perfect for the fire whirl. First guy down, if I can land the stun, that'll set us up perfect. Oh, that was so clean. Can I please get a clip of that? Can I please get a clip of that? That was so fucking clean. Uh, this looks mostly farmed. Our goal now is really just to hit level eight. We're very in the zone, so we don't have to travel that far. Maybe I go poke at this. I've never really contested one of these. These raid bosses kind of drop plunder all over the place, as well as ability upgrades all over the ground. I think I found my first target right here. I'm going to go in for a long range stun, and I cannot believe that landed. This guy got so robbed. Fire Whirl is going to easily pick up that kill. And it's worth mentioning, I swapped out my four ability before getting here. Stun does land going in for some auto attacks now. Uh, I didn't mean to use my grapple here, and I didn't mean to spawn those chickens. God, that rock attack hit hard. If my fire world doesn't carry me here, we are screwed. We got lucky today, dude. We got lucky today, dude. Do I take this PVE here? Chat was making fun of me. They said I called this guy PVE because I ended up killing him in complete silence. We absolutely rolled over this dude. He had no idea what was hitting him. We landed everything. Hit. This might be the first time I've ever hit level 10. We need like one more kill. I might be able to PVE to level 10. Little did I know that the spider that would give me level 10 for the very first time would also have other gifts in store for me. <laughs> it's kind of the cheesiest item in the game, uh, but it lets you turn into a bush. I'm going to win this game. <laughs> the perfect play doesn't exist, they said. We're top seven right now. You've already been this way. Don't come back. You've already been this way. Don't come back. Don't come back. <laughs> I was actually thinking I kind of want to kill this guy. Because, uh... There's a level 10 by him. 
I don't want to kill that guy because he can level up my Firestorm. Let me try to get over there. We're very all in with our setup right now. We have good burst damage because of it. But if anything goes wrong, it's going to be very difficult to kite away from enemies. Where'd the level 10 go? Two level eights there. We're in top six. Oh, this guy's dead. I think... Oh, they got away. Are they Sudokuing? They're going to Sudoku. They didn't Sudoku. They took the death. JBZ. We've seen him before in a fight. Just won his first fight that we know of. JBZ secured his spot in the top three. What else do we know about the top three? It's that guy right there. Level nine. Goblin. That means we have a level eight, a level nine, and a level ten myself in the final three. That level fucking six Volpira that we spotted up on the hill must have killed the level ten. That's fucking insane. Or are they just Sudoku? I'm in zone. You don't see a level ten? <laughs> Me either. I thought it was just the top two. Oh, here they go. He's poking at range. <gasps> Path to glory hit level 10. Farming while he was here. Path to glory has three very close, two very close range abilities though. Maybe just one. Maybe the star was this guy. JBZ went out to animal form. His time is numbered. The healing brew is out. Interrupted by the ice AOE. <gasps> the ice AOE wasn't enough. Okay. We'll let him heal up. We'll let him heal up. Honorable duel for the top spot. All right. He attacked, so the fight is on. We dodged his first ability. I'm going to let him heal. That's what I was trying to let him do in the first place. Uh, we're going to stun into a fire. We're getting out because of his earth stomp and then back in. Dodge the mana. Didn't do it. Latch back onto him. Re-engage. Oak with ice. He does not have a heal. Stunning. Healing. Poking with one. Firestorm. He does have his earth again. Oh, latching on, engaging. I think he just tried to heal. Caught him on the snowdrift. We won, boys. First game. Ooh. Right as we hit level 22, that was my level 20. We did it. Nice. I think we played that well too. And we had a nice honorable duel for the end. We can all feel good about that win. We can all feel good about that win. See, the X is good. <laughs> no, is that what we learned? No! <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna go tell Holly I got my first win. I'll be right back. <laughs> when I went downstairs, I was like, so how'd the dress fitting go? And she was like, great. I already picked one out and I was, you could really tell how excited she was. And I listened to her whole story about it. And then I was like, so I have good news too. <laughs> and Holly was like, did you win your first game? And I was like, yes, how'd you know? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. I ended up streaming a ton of Plunderstorm over on Twitch. So if you guys do want to see more, I could definitely edit down some more of those VODs. As always, thank you guys so much for supporting the content. And I will see you again very soon.